Hi everyone, so today is number two for the postcards that was developed by Kerry the Crafter, and you find him on YouTube. And one of the most important things are three rules. Use a four by six card and um, use a jelly plate in some form. I decided to do that on the, on the cards themselves because I'm not really very versatile on um, making jelly plate stuff yet. Um, you can also check his in introduction to this on YouTube. I'll have it linked below and you can start at any time and we're making 31 cards at least for the month of June, July. If you start later you can just continue on. Um, there's a, a few people that do provide their jelly plate pieces through um, downloads and you can find that on Carrie's the crafter site he he has them linked below in all of his postcards you'll find all the people that are <coughs> excuse me you'll find all the people that are involved in this down there or use the hashtag now I designed six cards because I'm a little bit behind um, started late and oh the other thing you have to have is the number of the day so this is my day two and I think um, I think that's all the the requirements it has to be a four by six you need to have the number of the day that you're doing and um, some some form of uh, jelly plate work so if you use tissue papers with jelly plates and you have all these things around that you can use to decorate then do that I like I said I used my cardstock and did some some things just for this particular one because um, I was doing like an Egyptian motif this week so we'll see we'll see how it goes I'm uh, hoping that I learned something from this now I'm using some old papers that I have really they're very old they're from Tim Holtz um, tissue paper I also tried using some tissue paper on the jelly plate I'm not I'm not sure how jelly plates work yet I'm still working on it so you know it's kind of hit and miss uh, I think because I'm learning how to manipulate the the paint and figure out the design you want because there's lots of things you can do with the jelly plate you can um, do a image you can take an image from a magazine I don't know how that works so I have to play with that you can take an image from a magazine lay some paint down put the image on pull the image away pull the paper away and the image will be left in the paint somehow or another. I don't know how that works. Um, it's fascinating. So I think I'll try that next week when I do some, I do a different theme. I'm going thematically. I'm doing um, Egyptian this week because I have some great papers from a scrapbook. Now, now I'm second guessing myself. Um, Stamperia, sorry. It's scrapbook paper from Stamperia, and it's called a fortune. Um, it's got um, a like an Egyptian fortune telling type motif. Um, yeah, it's sort of like um, the cards that they use to tell your fortune and I don't know why the Egyptian thing is in there but they had a stamp set that had Egyptian writing and and some mark making so I picked that up too so I'm gonna use them when appropriate now this was a card this is a watercolor card that I stamped on it's a leftover from the first card I did and 
these cards, you really have to back them, uh, depending upon what kind of cardstock you're using. I'm using a cardstock that um, I did the jelly printing on, and it's not very strong. It's very weak. It wouldn't last if you, you sent it out. And I think I said that in the first one that I, I do hope these are things that you could send out. I'm not sure. Um, I, I hate to go to my post office and ask because they'll probably say no. <laughs> just, just because. That's the way it is. <clears throat> now I had some paint on here and it wasn't quite dry yet. So I thought I'd try rather than having to squeeze out more paint. I just wanted to have a little bit of something to break it, break it up and it works it works um, now I, f I did a um, you see the burlap there I did a uh, needle it's not a needle craft it's a, a machine an embroidery machine and I did some miniature needle needle craft stuff on the embroidery machine Right now, I'm just trying to think of what to do next. So, <coughs> I um, I tried doing these miniatures, and this was the leftover burlap, and that comes into play later. Uh, I stamped on some of them, and I just think it really does a good embellishment. See, this is the lotus flower from the paper craft I have. I mean, I just couldn't. I couldn't resist the images. I didn't buy it to do the postcards, mind you, but they just have a lot of images on there that are, are really stunning. And I just liked how they they looked and I thought it would go well. <coughs> I'm sorry for the voice thing, yikes. So I used two different glues. And one is a Elmer's clear glue, it's a school glue. And basically, it takes a little while to dry, but it dries clear, and it's it's not a bad glue. I mean, especially the way I go through glue. Um, it's inexpensive. I had two two bottles. It was a, a, a kind of like a deal, two bottles for a really decent price. So um, I got them, and it still lasts. I've had them for a year or two at least. Um, I can't remember exactly. Anyway, and then the other glue I use is <coughs> from Stampin' Up. I think you can get it anywhere. It's a, a green and white bottle glue. It's from Tombow. And um, I buy some stuff from Stampin' Up, so that's why I got that. And that that is a really, for paper crafting, it's a quick drying glue that um, I think really it helps me get the card stock uh, attached to the watercolor paper very easily. Whereas the, the clear glue, I would have to use a um, something to hold everything down, hold it all nice and flat because it doesn't dry as quickly as the white glue. <clears throat> when I say white glue, I don't mean just any white glue. I mean Tombow. Tombow dries really fast. <coughs> God, it's a froggy throat day. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, I come from a you know, collage background, and when stuff is sitting on your desk, there's this uh, need to use it. So uh, I took the uh, burlap and I had stamped the, the bubble wrap uh, that had extra paint on it. I stamped it on, on this because I wanted to let it dry and see how it came out. And I really liked, liked having them and it just seems like it uses them up nicely. Now I'm trying to remember where I decided I want it. The thing with this, this needle point material it is the glue seeps right through and that's okay in terms of holding it onto the paper but it takes a while to dry so it takes at least overnight um, at least that was my experience 
So we're almost there. <coughs> I'm sorry for my voice. Ugh. Now, um, please check the show more because I did put Carrie's uh, introductory video if you have not seen it yet. But it will, it just, it's a, uh, where I got this idea from. He's a really, really interesting uh, person. I mean, I would love to have coffee with him. He's funny and interesting. Okay. So does this look like it? I think it is. I think I'm done with that. Now I'm going to put the backing on. There's my watercolor paper that I had already cut into squares. I had a bunch sitting on the side. I think I was going to do little vignettes. <coughs> and uh, figured, well, I'm doing this. I might as well use them here because they're like I cut up more. And that's the Tombow glue, if you weren't um, aware of what I was talking about. I just find that um, this stuff works really well with trying to adhere paper to paper pretty quickly. Actually, you have to be really careful. <laughs> so, in terms of putting flimsy paper onto a cardstock, it's... Um, it, it will dry quickly. It adheres very fast. <coughs> Gosh. Ay, ay, ay. It's early morning, you can tell. <laughs> so I use my bone folder to kind of hold it down. Um, just because the, the postcard itself that I did is sort of wobbly in the sense it, it will pop up, and the, the watercolor paper is pretty flat. It's, it's not bad, but I want it all to adhere nicely. I don't want to have any edges up, so I'm just trying to get the, everything to stick nicely. Now I, I had a piece that I had cut out, and I forgot to put it on, so that's coming. Yeah, just roller, roller it so it sits flat. But because I don't trust it, <laughs> I'm going to put clips on it to hold it down just for the time being. Okay, then I'm going to cut that white piece off. First, I have to put on the piece I forgot. And I glued, even though I have sticky stuff, one of the things Carrie taught me to do, and I really, you know, it was like something, oh yeah, of course, why not, is to glue even washi tape because it falls off. I made a piece once, and I had to pull all the washi tape off. So there it is. I cut the ends off, and there's my piece. I thought it came out really nice. I'm really liking this aesthetic. Um, if I can learn how to do jelly plates, prints pretty good, I would be so much more happier too. <laughs> well, we'll do the next one and um, we'll continue. Hope to see you then. Thanks for watching and subscribing. See you next time.